Milwaukee Emergency Center for Animals Television is brought to you by Haas, the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County, leading the community in animal welfare and assuring sanctuary for animals in need. Metropolitan Fence, we're always on the level. And Camp Bow Wow, premier doggy day in overnight camps. We just want to make sure that we uh, have the needle still in the stomach because I don't want to go looking for it in the intestinal tract. And in this particular case, we chose not to go down with a endoscopy, perform endoscopy and go in surgically because the, the owners think that there's a long string. They're not sure how long the string is that it is attached to this needle. And they opted to go to surgery because they said, we always offer endoscopy, but we tell them that if endoscopy doesn't work, you've paid that price and we may have to go in surgically anyhow. So these people chose, nope, I just want to go in, get the needle out and be done with it. So we're going to see where the needle is right now and then we're going to take them off to surgery. We're waiting for them to take the radiographs to see where the needle is, making sure it's still in the stomach. If it's not in the stomach, it's moved into the intestines. I'll still go in, it'll just dictate on where I'm gonna make my incision and where I'm gonna look for it. You know, it's just gonna make it a lot easier for me to, if I know where its location is. Earlier in the day, you can see the big needle here, in the stomach and all food. Yep, it's still there, as you can see. Uh, yeah, this was about one oh, one clock in the afternoon and uh, you can see the needle here and then this is at 11 o'clock at night and you can still see it see the little head of it uh, with the string attached to it we can't see the string but anticipating what's going to happen but I can say that but not nervous, not after doing this for so many years. But, so it's pretty routine. It's uh, opening up the stomach, so I, uh, I'm not anticipating any challenging things that are gonna go wrong. But you never know with a patient, so you don't take it lightly. And uh, you always go in with a positive, you know, nope, we're gonna get the needle out and Cat's gonna recover, everything is gonna go well. So we're doing a quick check in on his vitals before to start the surgical procedure be sure that everything is in place on track. Check his temperature. This is always important uh, to start knowing what is the temperature before surgery because most of the patients they got uh, depressed because we're depressing the patient with the anesthetic and as a response the body is gonna lower the temperature and we always have to supplement uh, temperature in this patient. So this patient is almost uh, 40 Celsius. She's almost around uh, 103.5 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So we're not that concerned about his temperature, but still, we're still watching it during the surgery. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna size his endotracheal tube. We have a four millimeter cuff over here. Uh, we're gonna check the thoracic inlet, which is this mark right here, with this hole right here where my finger is pointing. That's pretty much where the trachea device. You don't want to intubate more than that because you can occlude one long parenchyma. And so you always want it to go to the thoracic inlet. That's pretty much an idea thing where this is gonna go. So we're considering over here. So you know for sure how much you're going in or if you're putting too much outside. So we're on 15. That's what we have based on what we've seen. So 
we're gonna start, we're gonna use some propofol, which is our induction anesthetic tonight. And I'm gonna like face the patient towards me a little bit, my there is fine. So with propofol we just go a little bit at a time. Uh, we don't do the whole dose, we just do a partial of the dose. Then we stop, let the patient relax, and start seeing he's still like kind of licking his lips. That's a normal reaction. And then we flush a little bit just with saline. And then we start checking for signs of induction. Uh, Parapibra reflex will be the first one. Start losing jaw tone too. The capability to, to have too much contraction on the muscle. Start losing it a little bit. So he's kind of like getting there, but it's not all the way there yet. Okay? It depends on the, on the kidney. So we can come back here, and you can see the renal cartilage is right here, and once they open it, close it up, and then we're gonna close them out, close them out of the patient, we're gonna keep it closed. We're gonna place it on lateral recommency, as long as she keeps the mouth closed in there. We have the patient on lateral recommency, she continue with the mouth closed, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna plug this patient on our anesthesia machine, Now we have a surgical, sterile surgical field. Today's show is brought to you by Haas, the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County, Metropolitan Fence, and Camp Bow Wow. And now, a word from our sponsors. Welcome to Camp Bow Wow in Waukesha, the premier doggy day and overnight camp where a dog can be a dog. Our campers play all day in our four large indoor and four outdoor play yards. Watch your pup from anywhere in the world at our high-speed camper cams. Our certified camp counselors, spacious cabins with comfy cots, pup pools, and outdoor play equipment ensure that your pup has a great time. We're open 365 days per year for your convenience. Stop in for a tour and book a reservation for your dog's free day of camp. Visit CampBowWow.com slash Waukesha or call 262-547-WOOF for more information. At Metropolitan Fence, we have been keeping your children and pets safe in southeastern Wisconsin for over 27 years. We offer a full line of residential and commercial fencing from vinyl, wood, ornamental, and chain link. For a free estimate, please call us at 262 262- 547-6001 or visit us online at metrofence.biz and remember we are always on the level the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha is so much more than a shelter. Our adoption staff, animal caregivers, and behavior department ensure the best possible adoptive companion. Our spay-neuter programs actively combat pet overpopulation in our area, and our animal rescue team safely returns lost pets back home. Haas does one-on-one -on -one consultations, holds a variety of training classes and seminars, and even hosts camps for kids. Our shelter is and always has been open admissions and full service, providing resources for pets and their people People for a happy lifetime together. Pause. We're building a society that's humane. Sporting, grooming, training, and more. When it comes to your pet, Animal Motel is their home away from home. At Animal Motel, we offer a top-of-the-line facility with boarding suites for both dogs and cats, outdoor play yards, a training hall, and so much more. Whether they're here for obedience training, grooming, or an extended stay, we promise your dog and cat will be part of our family. Animal Motel. 
personalized care for your precious pets. Looking to get some training for your dog? For pets sake is your one-stop dog training center. We offer all-inclusive obedience training, canine sports training, specialty classes, and more. We provide training classes in three convenient locations with our main facility in McGuanago, which boasts a fully matted 5,200 square foot training hall. While in McGuanago, check out our Bichon Buddy Rescue and take home your new pet. Bichon and Little Buddies Rescue takes in Bichons, other small dog breeds, and cats that need to be rehomed for various reasons. Cutting. Now we're gonna pack off the stomach. Just in case something spills. Let me have it. right there. Okay. Bring up a bit. everything out of the abdomen just in case even minute quantity is that's good Awesome. Especially when they come out like this and uh, they're recovering so well and the surgery went well. It's just great. It's a great moment. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to do that.
So Jet is a young cat that came in on, I believe it was Sunday, and he came in with a history of possibly swallowing a needle, which is pretty common in cats. They fancy that uh, string that it's attached to it or thread that's attached to it, and they just like shiny things, I think. But mostly it's the string or the thread hanging on to the uh, needle. And they go after that and play with that and then swallow the whole needle. And usually, and probably 90% of the cases, the whole needle makes it down. They take the string first and then the whole needle goes down into the stomach. So there's two ways to get a needle out. One is by putting a scope in and pulling the needle out. Second way is to go in surgically and take it directly out of the stomach by opening up the abdomen and the stomach and going in for it. These people chose to do the surgery because they figured sometimes scoping is unsuccessful, then you pay for that procedure and then you end up having to go to surgery. So they said, no, no, let's just go in surgically and get that needle out. So that's what we did on Sunday and the surgery was very successful. He's doing fine. Um, he went through surgery well. He's going to, we're gonna give him to the owner and send him home. Um, the only thing is, is that he's not eating yet completely. So we're gonna show the owner how to syringe feed. And this is what they pulled out. The actual needle. Wow. The needle and string. So imagine that. Wow. All of that. <laughs> so. How uh, bad is that? Um, and so you want to see? It, it looks really good. What, will he be uh, messing with it? No, he has the cone on, so okay. this should actually stay on the okay. soft cone okay. up until um, they come out, which is ten to fourteen days. Okay, so, he's a uh, he's a messer. That's how he got into this. Yeah. yeah well, hopefully with this, he maker. won't get into too much more trouble. <laughs> he can at least for ten to fourteen days. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna go get the recovery okay. and the syringe and show you how we do this. He had a. Um, it's this long. So I, uh, I never heard of that myself, but I checked and uh, it does happen. And uh, you gotta put away your, anything that seems attractive to him. Hey, how are you? Okay. Good. Well, he's all ready to go. He's all ready to go, yes, for sure. So she's going to um, show you how to syringe feed. Mm -hmm. Okay, we think, obviously, we're hoping this is only temporary. Sure. Um, and just to get him started, he had just a little bit of a fever. Mm -hmm. And the fever might be either A, from the catheter, which we took out, naturally, mm -hmm. or it might be just from the suture area or from mm -hmm. inflammation within the stomach where the needle was poking in, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm gonna actually ask you to come back here in three days, because mm -hmm. we're gonna recheck him, take mm -hmm. his temperature. Mm -hmm. And then you've got two days of medications. And by that time, you'll be ready if we need to give more. So and he keeps this on? Yes. For a while. Because we don't want him to tear out his sutures. All right. Wow. And I'll see you on Thursday. Wow. I know. Right. <laughs> okay. Another milestone with the cat. <laughs> right. One of his nine lives. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what we usually do is that we'll come up like kind of behind him. So uh -huh. this way, if he tries to scoot, you can like block him. This is how we do it. Right. So then we just come up right into the corner. Right. In his little cheek pocket, and then we just push little by little. And then he eats a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've uh, we've uh, done that before. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Good luck. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a follow. Oh sure. Sure.
Here at Pet Supply Port in Sockville, Wisconsin, we recognize that pets are part of the family. That's why we strive to offer the best quality pet food and pet supplies at the most affordable prices. From frozen raw diet and wholesome products to educational seminars and pet total wellness, Pet Supply Port is leading the way when it comes to pet food and pet supplies in the Four County area. Log on to learn how Pet Supply Port can help your pet live a happy and healthy life. PetSupplyPort.com Welcome to Camp Bow Wow in Waukesha, the premier doggy day and overnight camp where a dog can be a dog. Our campers play all day in our four large indoor and four outdoor play yards. Watch your pup from anywhere in the world at our high-speed camper cams. Our certified camp counselors, spacious cabins with comfy cots, pup pools, and outdoor play equipment ensure that your pup has a great time. We're open 365 days per year for your convenience. Stop in for a tour and book a reservation for your dog's free day of camp. Visit CampBowWow.com slash Waukesha or call 262-547-WOOF for more information. At Metropolitan Fence, we have been keeping your children and pets safe in southeastern Wisconsin for over 27 years. We offer a full line of residential and commercial fencing from vinyl, wood, ornamental, and chain link. For a free estimate, please call us at 262-547-6001 or visit us online at metrofence.biz. And remember, we are always on the level. When it comes to your pet's health, proper nutrition is vital to a long and healthy life. That's why American Natural Premium products are growing in popularity at your local pet food store. American Natural Premium uses whole ingredients including meat and balanced protein. Best of all, it's quality pet food at an affordable price. If your dog is itching and scratching, has runny eyes, or does the butt scoot boogie across your floor, it's a good chance your dog has food allergies. Log on to AmericanNaturalPremium.com to learn about premium pet food without the premium price tag. It got started by, I worked a lot with the police dogs and sheriff dogs for medical care for years and then I was made aware of the great demand for vesting each and every one of these police canine dogs because they're the first responders in any crime scene. So I decided that we were going to vest every single Wisconsin canine police dog and sheriff dog and then go one step further and help find them dogs because these dogs they start training at about two years of age and then by nine or ten they're already ready to be retired so we're going to replace new dogs too. It started out about three years ago we had our first event and we had about a thousand people at that event. We had two Brewers players there and then it's grown to where we have police demonstrations out in front all day long today. We have a big raffle table. We have music by Nora Collins. We have food here. And then we have Brewers players coming today that are in support of our uh, foundation.
Hello, little guy. How are you, little cutie? There's a 1.5 in there. Okay, good. Right. That's good. Okay. Perfect. It's pe people in general. Um, the main thing is the education factor behind the responsibility of owning a pet. Uh, the main thing is being financially prepared. Um, I mean, people do visit us because uh, people are not aware or if this is their first time visiting an ER facility because um, it's a cost it's a factor of a lot of issues. Um, so the main thing for us is making sure they are properly educated, um, you know, what their resources are. Um, we, we do come to that point. Um, but definitely education plays a big key, um, especially what owners are feeding the animals or what they're giving their animals. Um, they think they're, you know, it just, and you can't make us financially responsible for your you know, your pet. Because uh, like if you go to, I was using a scenario, if you go to a ER facility for humans, um, you don't see that bill right up because you have insurance. Or the money's come from somewhere and they're getting paid because they say an animal broke its leg. And for a human, you're looking at ten dollars or $20,000 to fix that leg on a human being. But you don't see that cost. You see a copay. <laughs> Today's show was brought to you by Haas, the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County, leading the community in animal welfare and assuring sanctuary for animals in need. Metropolitan Fence, we're always on the level. And Camp Bow Wow, premier doggy day and overnight camps. 